Hello fellow YouTubers. <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am here with a project share for a um, swap that I was in with 50, 50, what is it, 50 crazy crafters. 50 shades of crazy crafters. That's what it is. So I'm going to um, go through exactly what I made, show you some of the items that I use, some of the projects and things of that nature. I want to show you the paper that I used was um, an older collection of Stampin' Up! Jolly Holiday paper is what I used for um, this project. So let's go through it. It is a loaded, um, a loaded heart swap. This is my loaded heart. You can't really see the heart yet, but you can see it, um, the beginning of it right here, and you'll see it at the end. So what we have here is we have some trim um, around the edge, and I actually got this trim from Hobby Lobby, which is really cute and fluffy. Then we have some pearl beads um, that I put around, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts, and I believe that these are the, the roses. These are some roses, and then um, I'm not sure exactly what these would be called, but they were cute. I put one there. Have some seam binding is what um I actually the heart itself I cut out from my um silhouette and it was a like a um is a heart pocket so as you can see two little holes and I took the little bow even though I did glue. You know, I'm not sure if you can see it but it is glued right there. So um on here I cut out so anything I cut out and I'll just say I cut out is going to be from my silhouette. Um love right here, put that there. I'm not sure if you can see but it's two heart um, paper clips here. Stuck on the side. And this one I just have a little package of goodies that I've um, stamped out and some hearts and things in there to put on the side. In the front here I have two pinwheels. And these pinwheels I cut out with the We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel board. So and they're, and they're two of the same and they are on um, clothes pins. So I just put some of the um, designer paper on the back, the two pinwheels. And the pinwheels are different because, you know, usually with a pinwheel, you they're flatter like that because you glue in the middle, but I just left it open to make it, you know, bigger and fluffier, I guess you could say. Two hearts on there, and then right in the middle is a love. It's, um, L is for love. So then this is the heart punch that I used. And then this is uh, Stampin' Up! L is for Love um, stamp. So I made two of those. So we'll get to the side. Here I have another little um, paper clip. I just did a little rosette, a little hello. And this rosette, if I'm not mistaken, see, I think I used, maybe on a couple of these, would be this um, the Tim Holtz mini paper rosettes. You can make two. So most of these rolls that I'm gonna say came from using this. Maybe not these bigger ones, but the smaller ones. And then I got Hello, which is a AliExpress die that I just got. And I just a Hello. It's also congratulations, thank you, and with love. And I cut out the with love one that I'm using for a different project. Oh, swirly at the end. So this here is I got this brochure from um I saw it at Michaels. They had um, a bag of felt hearts and they had different sayings on there, I love you and you know, other hearts. So I took that idea and because I, I had some felt at here at the house and I wanted to try it out. So this is what I came up with. Cut out these hearts on my um cutting die machine and then I used twine to uh sew it together. And this is what I came up with. So, I like this idea, and I want to try it out. I'll probably try other projects with different shapes and things like that, but this is what I created. Like that. I did some embellishments. As you can see here, and the dies I used would be, for like this white in the back, I used this die. I'm not sure what it's called. I know I got it from Tuesday morning now. And, um, and the red one in the back of there, as you can see, would have been this one. 
Actually, those are the two dyes that I use for those. And besides, you know, the rosettes. And then cut out the hearts, a little bling. Happy Valentine's Day stamp on there. So I created that. And then I also created these bows, which I cut out on my silhouette. And uh, glued them together. Um, they're kind of flat in here. You probably can't see them, but um, once you get them, you can actually fluff them up so she can, you know, determine how she wants to. She wants to put them on other projects. I'm not sure you can see it, but this is a different paper than um, that I use for this one. This is um, I actually got this paper from um, Etsy. It's like a Valentine's Day. As you can see, little lips and stuff on the actual paper itself. I just keep. So I, I made those. Um, this is just a little envelope that um. I cut some love in red and white. Put in there. You can use those on different projects. These are just two project life cards that I had um had left from used um on the tags in here. So I thought she could probably use over some other Valentine's Day inspiration or use them as um journaling tags too. So whichever whatever she prefer. This is one of the tags. I just left the heart free like that. And this is cut out from a um, Project Life card. This right here is from an embossing folder that says Love. And I just used my red um, ink and just, you know, lightly went over it. And also the card just to give it some color in the back. And also, you know, the edges. So that's one tag. This here is another in little embellishment pack, I guess you can say. Uh, well, not embellishment. Well, sample pack, whatever you want to call it. And I just cut this from, you had you had a 3 by 9 basketball card. You do the pocket letters. Well, I just cut off the bottom of it and um, use it for packaging for some samples, washi tape, twine, and then here is just um, a lot of, you know, you have a lot of those scraps left. I um, cut out hearts and little banners and butterflies and that paper that you can use on different projects. And this, of course, was just from the paper pad in. Um, just tried to spruce it up a little bit and I used this Stampin' Up die. I'm not sure what it's called, but... Okay. to decorate the top of it a little bit. We had to make the um, handmade card. This is my card. I used the envelope um, punch board to make the card. This I cut out my silhouette, so just a red heart, and then I glued on uh, Happy Mail to open it up just a little bit to keep it down. This is also cut from my silhouette. It was a heart um, I cut these two hearts out in love, which is the same love from here, but of course I just made it smaller. I love that's the little heart closure. And I just, you know, put a little few words in there and did some stamping. So that's my card. I just left it black on the left it blank on the back. These are just some goodies I got from Tuesday morning that I thought were cute and I threw them in there, some stamps. A straw sample pack. Gave her um, pretty much all the straws that I had. Gave her one of each to. Uh, she wanted to use on some other projects. These here are called pinwheel cards, and I'll put the link below as um, to where I got this and um, idea and um, the tutorial for it. And then exactly the same, and it's the same pinwheel that I use, and then I used um, some of these ivory cherry blossoms. And those are from Water Press also. So then it's a belly band, you take it off. And then you open up the cord. And then, you know, you can write whatever you want to write in there. So I did two of those. And I'll put that back together here in a moment. This is a, my second tag. And as you can see, this was the um, Project Life card that I cut, fussy cut out. Put on there. I'm not sure you can see in the boss from uh, Emboss Swirls two roses and then a love you that I cut from another project life card and, um, around the edges another embellishment it's the same but just the colors are switched you have the white in the back and, uh, and this is the red another little envelope these I thought were so cute um, I had in my silhouette and I, I was messing around with them and trying to do different colors so I had uh, just cut some out. Three little bumblebees smiling. These are light bulbs. So you have the two male. And you have two female. 
and then you have a larger male and female. So, put those back in the envelope. And this is also something else um, I got from Hobby Lobby. Other. And it says, enjoy the view. And of course, you can color or do whatever she wants to do with that. And these are my two wands. Uh, they're basically the same, just, you know, on opposite sides. And I use the same row, um, flower from here. Of course, my rosette. have some, um, I forgot what this is called, but I got that on there. <laughs> And there's also a rosette here in the back, a larger one, and I use the same die for the edge of it. Get a little more um, detail back there, and then of course this um, rosette, paper rosette that I have. These are cut out from the, um, you can hear my daughter singing, here she comes, <laughs> uh, from um, Project Life. <laughs> she made me lose my train of thought. And then on the back I just cut out some um, a design with two hearts. And then say you rock, and this will say a friendship. Oh, and then as you can see, here is the heart. The pocket for me to load it. And I just left the um, back blank. But what I actually probably will do is add a pocket on the back here, and then I, so I can stick in, you know, my information and things like that. Or I'm not right, because it's already pretty full, and I'm not sure how strong this paper is. And I already got to come up with a way to try and. Uh, <laughs> packages so by the time my partner receive it it won't you know the stuff won't be then fell out so that's my project share from my loaded heart swap with 50 shades of crazy crafters I want to say thank you for watching bye